Your cell phone bill is a prime source for big profits. $3 a month really doesn't seem like a lot, but when you add it all up, it could actually actually mean billions every single year for North Texas-based AT&T. What's more, the charges may have been stacked onto your service. Fox 4's St Steve Noviello is on your side with tonight's consumer investigation. Well, this is my AT&T bill. Christine Ogren admits this is unusual. And then this is where everything gets confusing. She rarely reads her cell phone bill. Like many of us, the balance is auto-drafted from a bank account each month. We never give it a second thought. I trust at and I've had them for so long. But maybe we should start thinking about it. I definitely believe and know that there was signing up without customer knowledge. Until recently, this woman, who asked we don't show her face or reveal her name, worked for Christine's cell carrier, AT&T. We were threatened quite frequently um, to be written up if we didn't hit goal. Um, potential job loss was there. She says pressure for stores to meet sales goals and quotas may mean countless customers are paying for a service they didn't ask for and don't need. It's a product that AT&T wants us to push, and it was basically told to us that if we don't push it, then we don't need to be there. The product? They call it a um, mobile protection pack. At three bucks a month, it might not sound like a big expense. AT&T's mobile protection pack offers enhanced technical support, cloud backup, and a GPS location feature, which is designed to help find your phone in case it's lost or stolen. Sounds familiar, right? While most of these features already come free and standard on many smartphones, you're paying extra for things that you're already getting free with your devices. AT&T insists there's true value here, since their paid service covers you even when your phone is out of warranty. So how does the charge appear in the first place? A spokesperson for AT&T tells us you agreed to it. You verbally signed up in the store. And because the process is all digital, it's the sales representative that documents your decision. A year and a half ago, when Christine started the service, there was a digital signature too. Here's hers. Yet, she insists. They didn't tell us that we were signing up for this. You know, they try to say they did, but they didn't. Meanwhile, dozens and dozens of you are saying the same, taking to our Facebook page because you see the same $3 charge too, and you don't remember signing up for it. Which brings us back to that store employee who says the sign-up process can be a little more sneaky than that. It starts when a customer asks about insurance. We would automatically bundle it together in a package. We would try not to separate it. AT&T offers an insurance plan for their phones from third-party vendor Assurium. The cost to you, $6.99. An AT&T spokesperson tells us the extra $3 mobile protection pack is completely voluntary. They're even separate when they're printed on your bill. But when we took our cameras shopping for the insurance plan at local corporate-owned AT&T, AT&T stores, we were told insurance uh, $10. Insurance was $10. Remember, it's really $6.99, but $10. $9.99. That optional $3 suite of services is slipped in. Listen, when we ask again, we are assured. Is it customizable or it's like $9.99 flat rate and that's flat, it? Flat rate. That was the price. Until we ask, is it the ten dollars is a flat rate? Mm -hmm. It's, it's ten dollars monthly. One more time. Well, okay, so th that that includes uh, enhanced support. One of them for six ninety nine, another one for three ninety nine. Ten dollars. There it is. That three dollar charge stacked on in secret. I don't think that's fair. I think that's taking advantage of the the consumer. So why risk customer loyalty for a measly three bucks a month? Consider this. By their own published stats, AT&T has 116 million wireless customers, more than four times the population of Australia. At three bucks a month each, that's four billion dollars a year in potential revenue. This isn't fair. Unless you notice it first. You didn't hear from AT&T on camera during this story because they declined our request for a sit-down interview, preferring instead to only answer questions in writing. We did ask about store quotas and whether it was standard practice for employees to automatically bundle insurance with that $3 add-on. 
AT&T chose to not answer either one of those questions. A reminder, if you see anything unfamiliar on your AT&T bill, you can go online to change it, or you can change it by calling 611 from your cell phone. Remember to always request a back credit for any charges you feel you didn't authorize. The full statement from AT&T right now, myfoxdfw.com. I'm Steve Noviello. That's my two cents. Spend it wisely.